Hello, hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Zachariah the Ghost. I was watching this interview of this gentleman, Lazarus Mokwena. He is the National Driving School Association. And he was talking about the whole issue of, you know, traffic officials increasing the bribe price from 1.7, you know, per person to 2,000. And he was going back, you know, to remind us that, you know, this whole thing, you know, started actually in Houting. The year 2012, that's when they sat down and they formed a forum whereby they wanted to go deep into the whole thing and see if they can, you know, find solutions. And there was a bit of, you know, development into the whole thing. But, you know, it, it, it spread now to, to these other, you know, provinces. And now as we hear in Bumalanga, people are saying, you know, they can no longer take this anymore because their bribe price is too much because they're just increasing it from 1.7 to 2,000. And he also spoke about, you know, this whole thing. He said, you know, corruption is happening because of, you know, they need to regulate all these driving schools and he said because of that you know they are struggling a lot because they also find people at the DLTC or to the traffic department who are you know clueless about how to run a DLTC when they speak with them about you know things that they're supposed to do those people don't know nothing and if they are working at the DLTC others are even managers but they don't understand the operation of a DLTC you know and he spoke about those things and he also spoke about a runner you know he said a runner is like a facilitator he's like a middleman and you know the lady wanted to know more about a runner if the runner is the official of you know the department or the government or what and the pet you know mr lazarus said no you know a runner is someone who will take information from the DLTC and go and promise someone who want a driver's license that they can get them a driver's license. They know how to get it quicker than going through the driving school. And that's pretty much it. It's a middleman. And we have lots of them. And now he even mentioned that that makes foreign nationals, like people, the foreigners who are not even documented to run driving schools because the whole thing is not regulated. And you find a runner who takes people to the DLTC and promise them to get a driver's license while they don't have a driver's license, while they are not even qualified to have a driver's license. But they are taking a South African citizen to the traffic department or to the DLTC and promise to give them a driver's license. And others, they are even running driving schools successfully in South Africa and they are not even allowed to have you know, driver's licenses. You know, he was going deep into that and he, he, he said it's because of, you know, everybody can do whatever they like in South Africa simply because of, you know, they don't have power. You know, they're doing everything in their power, you know, to make sure that, you know, they regulate this, you know, driving school so that they can know how everything operates. Because he even mentioned that there are so many driving schools which are illegal in this country. And, you know, foreigners are running those driving schools. And that's heartbreaking. You know, that's heartbreaking. Because he said, imagine a person who doesn't have a driver's license taking you to a traffic department so that you can go and get a driver's license. You know, no wonder why we're having so many accidents on our road every day. Because it looks like, you know, things are done underground. Because he even mentioned that, you know, the reason why there is a fight between the driving schools and the traffic official is simply because of now. The officials, they're like saying, we are the main people. We are the ones behind the desk. So if you want something that can be faster, just come to us and pay us direct and we are going to make things happen rather than going to spend more hours in the driving school trying to learn how to drive. So in that way, that's why it's a competition between you know, the driving schools and also you know, the DLTCs because the officials, they also want their money. And that doesn't sit well when i look at things man and i just wanted to speak about it because now we are getting more you know details because he even said you know they're busy talking to you know figure so that they can find a solution 
into this thing and i don't know how long it's gonna take but at least they're working on something and you know corruption is just something that is being normalized right now and i appreciate you guys showing me love and support i just wanted to speak about that thank you